so much international global business takes place within a mile of the courthouse in Manhattan. The Morgenthau ethos was his investigators could hunt down any criminal whose money passed through Manhattan, which happened when someone in the city made a dollar transfer. That meant the long arm of Morgenthau reached into every part of the world. And he was not afraid to flex those muscles and to impose himself into international finance where really very few district attorneys would be able to go. One day, when the district attorney was well over 80, his path crossed Carl Lee's. Morgenthau had received a tip-off via one of his secret contacts. It was probably around 2005. He called us into his office and uh, he told us to buy tickets and get on a plane and head to Israel. Being told that we were gonna go meet with Israeli intelligence officials, I had no idea what to expect. investigators arrived, they'd never heard of Carl Lee. All they knew was their boss was very worried about the country his father had once supported. He viewed Iran as a threat to Israel, but he also had a view based on terrorism. He also viewed it as a threat to New York and to the citizens of New York, you know, coming out of 9-11. These were the years when the world found out about Iran's secret ambitions to build a nuclear bomb. For Israel, an existential threat, the reason for a highly unusual meeting. I had never heard of a local prosecutor going to meet with foreign intelligence services. 